right? It's a very fundamental part of, uh, you know, like for the data science toolkit is data visualization. When you have your data, the very important thing is how you visualize it, okay? So, like it's also very easy to create visualizations. You might have seen uh, in like uh, class 8, 9th in mathematics and statistics chapters, visualizations are very quite easy to make it, right? So, but it's uh, like when we talk about harder, it's like quite harder when you produce a very good ones, right? With a very big data when you are working with the big data. Then when you produce your visualizations of that particular data, that would be much uh, harder thing, right? When we talk about big data, it's uh, right maybe quite big. Okay, so there are two primary uh, you can say uses for data visualization, right? So I, I must leave the topic here. Okay, so we have visualizing data. All right. I think some merging effects have been done. Yes. Ah, fine. So what I said, the two primary uses for data visualization. I am writing here. So the very first one is how you explore your data and the next you can say too when we uh, look onto the data what we do we try to communicate with it or you can just try to communicate data. So these two are the more important factors why we use data visualization. So here in this particular model in visualization uh, data, we will try to con uh, someone has came just a minute. Yeah. Okay. So here we will try to concentrate on building the skills that will uh, need to start exploring your own data. When you create your own data, how you will be starting up with things. Okay. And to produce the visualizations. So we'll be using throughout okay all the methods used in this visualizations okay so data visualization is a rich field of study that uh, we can say that deserves uh, um, uh, you, what you can say for this write a lot back support of mathematics right which, which deserves a, a small statistics knowledge Okay, all right. So uh, let's start with the first uh, library. What we say is in the visualization part is your matplotlib. And in Anaconda, it is pre-installed. Okay, so uh, here a wide variety of tools uh, exist for visualizing the data. Okay. So we'll be using the matplotlib library, which is uh, widely used, okay, of sortings and all those things. So if you are interested in producing elaborate interactive visualizations for, you know, like web, so it is likely uh, not the right uh, choice why, for the matplotlib, okay. But for the simple bar charts, uh, line charts, scatter plots, uh, it works pretty well, okay. So we'll go ahead with all those things for the web, what you want to explore. That will that is a further different topic. Okay. So uh, in particular, we'll be using matplotlib.pipplot module. 
Okay, I think uh, just a minute, where is my keyboard? So the very first thing is to import matplotlib. You just press a tab, okay? And we are going to use the module dot piplot, okay? We'll be using dot piplot module, okay? So it maintains an internal state in which you build up your visualization step by step. Okay, I'll be writing pip and this is pip plot. Now, the standard way for writing this is now what happens that every time now all the functions required inside the pip plot will be writing it like just a minute, let, let come. Okay. So, inside pip plot, there are a lot of functions. Okay. So we we are not going to write every time matplotlib dot piplot dot something matplotlib dot piplot then something okay so what we'll do is we'll write as plt and this is also a standard way okay ये एक standard way भी है लिखने का कि plt लिखकर आप sorry plt लिखकर आप proceed कर सकते हैं है ना तो चलो इसको हमने लिख दिया और from you know एक दूसरा तरीका भी है कि आप लिख सकते हैं from matplotlib import piplot as plt ठीक है आपने यहाँ भी यही import किया है क्या import matplotlib dot piplot जैसे हम random से function लेकर आते हैं तो we used to write like from अगर मुझे से random चाहिए तो what I'll write from random अच्छा, from random sorry, import random as 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 something what you want R N and whatever it is, है ना? समझ रहे? Understanding? Similarly, ये आप ऐसा भी लिखते हो ना कि import random dot random as R N. देखो, clear है भी दोनों statements, दोनों code clear है. <coughs> Any doubts? No, sir. No, no, sir. Kisi ko koi problem nahi hai na? Good. No, sir. Chal, so, main isko hata raha hu. To ye do ways hai aapko peplot import karne ke. Theek hai? To working dono ka same hi hai kyunki plt likhna hai humko. Hai na? Chal. So, an example, we'll look on to an example. Let's say, okay. So, let's say for an example, a simple plot will be using, okay. A simple plot ka code mein just aapko abhi share karunga. Okay. Iske baad we'll be looking much more ahead for the. Acha, maine ek cheat code diya tha. Aap logo ne dekha hai kya usko? Python ka Sir, English will be better Okay, so I have shared a cheat code of Python So have you gone through that? Anyone? No? Okay, fine Just go and check back the things in your classroom Okay, alright So let's say for a simple plot here what I am doing Some parameters are there in matplotlib More much things are there, let's just plot it for now, just see a simple graph and then we'll be looking ahead. I think I have made it once more, but still, let's go with this.
right. So this is something like in a graph when we take x-axis, y-axis. Similarly, the same working here. I'll define what is x-axis. Okay, I can take here, this is x-axis or this is y-axis. We'll be taking it further ahead. Now let's say if we create a line chart. I'll take years on the x-axis and GDP on y-axis. Okay. Now, so what would be the statement? PLT dot. Now the functions you can see. In the PLT, what are the functions? Okay. Uh, print it. So it's just like coming as a module. Let me check. Yeah. So you have angle spectrum, annot annotations, like you can see, a lot of functions and a lot of classes inside the plot particular function. Sub functions you can see. Here. Okay. So we'll be using plot because we need to plot something. Okay. Uh, when subplots are there, we'll be going and further, right? My plot is a vast area. So, plt.plot. We want to plot years versus the GDP. Now, a simple plot will be looking something like this. Okay? plt.plot GDP. Next. Now, let us give a title to this graph. So this would be plt dot again okay. this graph graph you just treat the graph as plt okay so this graph is uh, gonna have a title and the title of the graph would be let's say some nominal gdp and we'll add label to the axis Let's say y axis only. So again, plt dot. If it is y axis, then y label. If it is x axis, then x label. So then we'll write billions of dollars. And at last, when you write all the things, if you want to just show the graph, if you run this, that is done. This is graph. So one particular line is there. That is again not mandatory, but you should write this plt dot show the figure. Many a times it has happened that you are not getting the graph. So if you only show this, you'll only get the graph. But when you don't write, you will get a graph. That is not a big uh, deal. But here also you'll get zero zero point five billion of dollars. Now can anyone tell what is zero and what is zero point five here? Okay. Right, you probably could not till now. After some time, you will be able to. So, this is plot, and you are getting the answer. Okay, the, this is your graph. Oh, sorry, show. Okay, nominal GDP, billion of dollars here, and the graph goes like this. Now, this graph can also be modified, the particular points can also be modified. Right, so modifications will be uh, reading now. Okay, any doubts? Acha, isme koi uh, asa line hai jo aap logo ko nahi samjha. Any particular line what you are not able to understand? 
No, sir. Yeah, na. Okay, so simple it is. Right. Sure. Let me have just a minute. सर ऐसा कुछ जरूरी रहता कि कि इयर्स और जीडीपी मतलब सेम मतलब अभी आपने सेवन वैल्यू दी इयर्स के तो जीडीपी भी सेवन ही होने चाहिए वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव अच्छा यू आर आस्किंग अबाउट एक्स एंड वाई है ना अच्छा देखो अच्छा क्वेश्चन है तुमने क्या पूछा कि सेवन और सेवन होने चाहिए यस ना अब मुझे बताओ कि एक्स पे अगर एफ टेक सम पॉइंट और वाई पे अगर हमने कुछ नहीं लिया तो कैन वी प्लॉट समथिंग नहीं सर वन हो जाएगा है ना तो बस वही प्रॉब्लम है कि आपके जो यहाँ पे भी से इट एज लेंथ ओके लेंथ सो लेंथ शुड बी इक्वल ऑफ द एक्स एंड वाई टू प्लॉट द थिंग्स ओके यस सर ठीक है चलो तो सिंपल प्लॉट देख लिया अभी अभी पैरामीटर्स ये जो हमने यूज किया व्हाट आर द पैरामीटर्स जो व्हाट एवर वी हैव यूज्ड वी हैव टू सी ऑल दोस थिंग्स ओके सो इन जुपिटर सी इट द बेसिक टाइप ऑफ प्लॉटिंग्स व्हेन वी आस्क और व्हेन वी सी टाइप ऑफ प्लॉट्स इन सॉरी टाइप ऑफ प्लॉट्स व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट दिस सो व्हाट ऑल वी हैव The first, which is a bar plot. Okay, uh, let's have this as a. So type of plots. So the very first is a bar plot. The bar plot makes a. Okay, uh, let it be. Okay, in this, or let it be a code. Okay. So this is a bar plot. What it does? I'm just writing just a single line so that it will be clear. So it made a bar plot. Simple. Okay. Then you would also be looking for bar edge. Okay, so can anyone tell what it does? Horizontal bar plot, not that. Okay. All right. Then there is a box plot. So it makes a box and whisker plot. Very simple plotting are all these. Okay, we'll be looking at. Then there is a histogram. We say it as it will writing as PLT dot hist. Okay, histogram. Then histogram also you have three D and two D. So his two D B is there. ठीक है, then you have pie chart, and you have several pie chart में actually you have lot of things to deal with. Then you have stack plot. So it draws a stacked area. Uh, इसको हम एरिया प्लॉट भी कहते हैं वी ऑल्सो से दिस हैज एरिया प्लॉटिंग और द टाइम वॉट लाइक यू आर स्पेंडिंग ऑन अ पर्टिकुलर ऑब्जेक्ट राइट ओके दैट इज ऑल्सो कैलकुलेटेड अदर एरिया प्लॉट देन यू ऑल्सो हैव अ स्कैटर प्लॉट दिस इज ऑल्सो इन द सी बॉन्ड एक्चुअली इट इज एन एडवांस वर्जन Okay, so 
so it draws a scatter plot of x versus your y okay so these kind of plottings are there okay and there is a simple plot then Uh, this plot basically lines and it uh, also plots markers axis okay so these are the particular plotting types okay understood ki bhai itne kind of plots hain aapke paas okay when we talk about image in uh, plottings you deal with the graphs graphs se deal kar rahe ho to you will be also dealing with the images so in images there are three functions i am read i am save and i am show okay in computer visions we use this i am show i am read i am save okay um, i'm writing just i'm not because we don't have all these to cover up i'm just writing it in image functions we only have three kinds that is uh, i am show okay i am read and i am save that is image show image read and image save theek okay? hai so i am read particularly it read an image from a file to any format any array hmm i am read will be taking your files and will be reading it in the array format okay so next access and then uh, save is something like you save the file and show is again just printing the image nothing else now when you have an access jaise abhi humne we uh, deals with the access hai na abhi humne kya kiya the y label access this is something so with the access how many operations are there to perform okay so access functions will be going with the access functions for now access functions so in the access functions we have access okay to add the access to the figure so i'm just writing here in one single line so before starting of the graphs you should have a knowledge of what the function is going to do hai na functions ke bare mein discuss kar lenge aaj to kal se jaise if we start up drawing up the graphs jaise abhi humne kiya label So you should know what label functions is going to perform and then understanding the code is different thing but understanding the functions what it does is the more important right so access what it does if i write plt dot access so what access is going to do it is going to add access to the figure to the graph okay okay next this text so what it does it add text to the figure or oh, sorry text to the axis okay then there is title okay these all are in this small okay the title what title does now just we uh, have perform this what it does it set a title to the graph Uh, access access better hai we say figure 
then there is y label Apart from this, you have x limit, x lim, a graph has a limit, mathematics you might have studied, right? x axis is a limit set of time, y limit set the limits of y axis ok right after this you have x ticks now you might have also heard about the ticks so basically uh, it set the x limits ok and uh, limits on the uh, particular locations or the labels you can say ok so what it does set the like limits of the x-axis okay you have seen limits x x limits y limits okay so it set the x limits on the particular label or location So these are the functions, uh, whatever you are going to do in the axis. Have you clear axis? Okay, functions as clear, I guess. Okay. So now when we uh, write or when we make a graph, a graph ban gaya, so what or next functions what you are going to do? Besides this, more functions are there, but functions ka basics is important to know. Okay. figure functions are quite less apart from the previous okay figure function subse pehla is your fig text so fig text what add text to figure see it's very uh, like very easy to remember the functions what it text does add text to the excess okay fig text means add text to the figure okay then plt dot figure would be there plt dot figure what it does creates a new figure okay then we have uh, performed show function what it does display a figure then we also an option to save the figure to a hard disk or to the current working directory and in which format you want you can write it then close a figure If you are working in uh, IP shell, or uh, PyCharm, it will close the figure window. Clear? Okay. So, done. Alright. So, if I write a plt dot figure. So, a figure with this zero axis and this and after this a figure has been performed with 
zero axis. All right, simple, right? The functions you can see now. Figure closed. Okay, this is how it works. So now, so uh, the basics I think now it is clear. Abhi clear is sabko ye code particularly how it is working. The type of plots we have seen. Image uh, functions. Me three things are there. Image reading um, will go on later onwards. Okay. So uh, let's uh, work simply. Okay. So we have used the numpy. We have used this previously also. Okay. Numpy is a module you will be studying later onwards. Okay. Just uh, for having a brief, uh, you know. description here we'll be going with this so let's import this and uh, let's uh, because we'll be using some graphs regarding the numpy for now understand this okay for the mathematics let's say if i have my x point and i'm taking a range of okay it's arrays range so we call it a range so it's uh, we are taking an range of uh, numbers from zero to let's say 2 multiplied by pi math dot pi multiplied by 2 okay so what we are taking x if we see the x what is x okay math we have not import So we run what is x 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 right because what is math dot pi this multiplied by 2 6 okay so till 6.283135 this is 0 to there what you will get a range of all the numbers right okay simple eh? if we take it in the interval of 0.2 so numbers will increase right abhi x ho gaya clear hai point 2 ke intervals mein humne itne sare numbers le liye so it will increase automatically chal if we take y now and if i say y is all the sine value of x so if now we are plotting that plt dot plot x versus the y so graph will be there something like this sine graph clear as a right now we can modify this particular graph how we will write plt dot x label here and this particular graph plt dot x label so x label what will write what is the x label what is x zero and all those things what are those angles and y label will write it as sine values right and the title of the graph will be a sine graph sine wave okay and you can get a plt dot show so this is a sine wave for now what you can see here is nothing uh, has been plotted why because we have made just axis okay we have given the points there and this is a blank graph what you can see now if we plot plt dot x versus p y because we haven't plotted anything now we have plot x versus y and then we have to show this so this graph is there sine wave angle sine value clear okay so go. i think it is clear and the same thing if i write in pi charm 
all are working in jupiter right yes sir <laughs> anyone who is working on uh, other platform other than jupiter because in other things you will be getting a window theek hai aapko graph you will not get there i am showing you also just a minute because you should also know this how it comes in the other platforms so let me share this to you let's just get open with the pie chart अरे ओके चलो वाइट रनिंग स्लो सिस्टम में we are taking math let this run is code run okay so let me see if it is running particularly close
just a minute. So here you need to update. Okay. For now, I think uh, here what I can see is no uh, particular package is there. So I will be taking because NumPy I will be using. So I will be using NumPy. And which version NumPy you use, you can specify. Yeah, latest version. You say, aapko jo bhi version use karna hai NumPy ka, you can use that. Uh, using 1920. Uh, this specify new version install the package that's it and it is you can see here it is written installing package numpy okay similarly math module is also being used so math up niklo and you can see for math Math pi package, okay. Uh, you can specify that too. So you can install this. And, okay, it's installed successfully. So now uh, I'll be removing it and I'll be taking import numpy as np. Now you can see it automatically is uh, giving this. Okay, and let's copy it out. If I see print np dot a range of five and I run this, it should give me some outputs. Uh, okay. What's the error? Alright, so simple sa graph le lete. Okay. Kya karte? We have uh, values here. Anaconda pe ja ke, we'll take values from there. Okay, x ka value to we have. But we have x value. Hai na? So we take all these values. These all are x values, okay. Similarly, y k values will take it from here. Y also have some values of these. The same graph I am taking, okay. So, x and y have some values. Now, uh, we will take just a window. Okay. Y equals to NP uh, sign we have just taken it. I think some updations error are there. So PLT dot uh, mat.lib I think we will have to import from here. Import matplotlib dot the plot as PLT and then hit the run. And matplotlib is not working. Okay. Right, right, right. Some project settings are actually, I think, needed to be updated. Matplotlib. Matplotlib. Quick, quick, quick. Oops. 
taking will come with the version what here it is working if we see here itself numpy which version we are using np dot so what we are working with 1.19.2 in pandas sorry in pycharm i think we are working with 1.20.2 okay now we have matplotlib here chalo let's run this okay it's done fine let's run this Trace back uh, main matplotlib no module main matplotlib from. Okay, I think I have to go through this today. Tomorrow I can give you the exact problem, what problem is coming. Alright, leave this. So, what we have seen is how to plot a graph. Okay, now, there sometimes we will be using a code called as matplotlib, something like this, matplotlib inline. Now, what happened guys, just uh, you have seen when we run this we get a graph here itself okay but when in the case of uh, pi uh, you know ip shell or pi charm or spider okay you will get a separate window so if you don't want to get a window and you want to uh, get the graph outputs inside the notebook itself so you can use matplotlib inline okay it works very uh, well there all right let's just see another graph so now if i modify the same graph what i have taken previously the gdp graph of years and all these if i just modify this so let's say if i change the color of the graph i can change it from here parameters will look on tomorrow how to set the parameters let's say i get a green color okay i set a marker marker you understand right uh, in which particular point the incident is happening like x and y is coinciding okay so marker let's say i'm taking as uh, circles okay you can take markers and as a plus there are a lot of things as the markers that i'll be discussing okay leave it for now and line style, line width, okay, markers, uh, length and all, okay, I'll be sharing you a PPT today, basis of uh, this matplotlib, we'll be going through all this, line style equals, let's say I give a dashed, if I take it as a dashed, so run this, so what are you are looking at, okay, your marker, First of all, the line is dashed, and then you are getting a marker position. Clear as a Any doubts? In the three parameters, any doubts? No, sir. Right? Up after dashed, if I make it as double dashed. Okay, I think. All right, so you can just use the double dash, maybe some writing issues are there. So single dash, double dash. So you'll get a graph now with the double dash. And now if I only write solid, so you can just get a graph with this, with the borders, and you can use text, you know, like 1950, 1960, 1970. So graphs has a lot of modifications. A simple graph you are getting just right now. Okay. A sine graph from negative to positive. Like if I say x is equals to np dot and arrange, which lies from minus 1 to positive 1 with the intervals of 0 0.05. Okay. And y is equals to np dot 
cos of all the values of x. So if I just plot plt dot plot of x and y, you'll see a graph. Uh, capital Y is not there. Small y. X. This the graph. Am I right? From negative one to positive one, this will be the graph. If I increase it, point two. Right. So what if I take it till three? It will go something like this. What will I if I take it at to be in p dot the okay in p dot minus one it is right so in p dot or, or let's say it to be uh, a range of mm, ten. Five, right. Till ten, it will take a smooth graph like this, right? So you can see the values starting from here. Now you can even plot the points as O. Oh. So what you are seeing? This is not a deep line. This is something like you are having particular, uh, you know, markers. If I if I make it as markers like this plus, so what you see is. The markers, nothing else. Okay. Now, if I make it R, it is a red line which is crossing through. Okay. You can make a big size of this PLT dot figure size. We'll be studying a figure size where you'll writing PLT dot figure. Inside this, you'll write fixed size is equals to. Let's say twelve cross eight. Any changes? Fifteen cross eight. Twenty cross eight. Any changes are coming? I think uh, fix it maybe. Okay. So this kind of graphs are being made. Okay. All right. Let me stop your recording.